The dog has served man for centuries. His progress and use have changed with the times, but always he has shown adaptability to specific tasks. In the military field, his tactical value has been recognized for a long time by the armies of other nations. But it was not until the present conflict that our own armed forces began to train and employ dogs for duty with combat units. Under the guidance of the remount section of the Quartermaster Corps, the carefully chosen canines receive basic and specialized training, which toughens and prepares them for definite assignments under fire. Dogs of many breeds rally to the colors. The hunting dog is relieved of his other duties for the duration and begins the grim manhunt after the common enemy. A dog's natural instincts make cover and concealment easy lessons. Kill or be killed is again instinctive. He's fast and elusive intelligent and willing. His hatred of the foe is complete. Loyalty and devotion to his job are commonplace with him. He asks for no reward. A pat on the back, any little acknowledgement by his master are sufficient. The procedure is for the using branches to supply the men who will train with the dogs they'll bring back to their outfits. All dogs are specially picked for size and usefulness. Each is trained to do a single job. And remember, they're not pets or mascots. They're soldiers, war dogs. The sentry and attack dogs have already proved their worth for interior guard duty. Now you'll meet their brothers in the tactical service, the silent scout dog, the messenger dog, and the casualty dog. First, we visit an outpost position where the silent scout dog is used to detect and give silent warning of any foreign presence, such as the sneaky character cautiously moving amid those palmettos. This movement alerts our war dog, who's able to detect ambushes or infiltration long before they can be discerned by human or mechanical means. Soundless as the night and naturally adapted to stealth, the silent scout dog leads his master to a position behind the hidden enemy. Tojo, meanwhile, has his sniper's eyes on some of our boys and is getting set to knock them off. But the silent scout dog has already cornered the rat. Master and dog take cover. A prearranged signal directs our own deadly rifle fire to the exact spot where the enemy is hidden. Tojo loses by a quick KO, and the silent scout dog supplied the initial power. Next, a reconnaissance patrol. The leader issues special instructions, indicating the mission and general direction of the advance. Here we'll see further use of the silent scout dog, who leads the patrol, and in addition, the messenger dog, who brings up the rear. The latter will be used to establish liaison with the outpost, but we're now concerned with the scout dog. His master's aware of the fundamental principles governing the dog's ability to supply quick warning of a hostile presence. Best advantage is taken of wind and other conditions favoring the dog's power of scenting. His master reads the dog carefully. Every movement of the dog conveys a message. Note the watchfulness. Sharp ears alert, nose always to the wind. It would be the same in frozen wastes or hot jungles, in any kind of weather or field conditions. The silent scout dog handles his assignment with trained efficiency. The tenseness is growing. He's fresh on the scent of something that smells like trouble. Enemy in sight. So, exit the scout dog. His job's well done. And enter the messenger dog. Vital information is hastily written out for dispatch to the outpost position to the rear. An emergency ammunition supply is urgently needed if the patrol is to hold out. And instead of a soldier runner, the messenger dog will do the job. A human life is not risked, and the war dog will get the message through. His speed and size make him a tough target and there's no halt or backward glance until he comes to the ammunition supply point. It's just brief minutes since he left the patrol, but already the messenger dog has brought in the information that'll help to avert possible disaster. And he's raring to race back with that emergency supply of ammunition. Under such conditions, he can pack up to 25 pounds. cartridge carrier with weight well distributed fits snugly on his back 
and the pictures show how rapidly it can be made secure. His special collar is replaced and he'll be hurrying back to the patrol. Again, the elapsed time is barely minutes. It's a case of passing the ammunition and praise for the dog and his ability to follow teachings and instincts. Back with the patrol. Empty rifles indicate that it'll be an arrival in the nick of time. All the realism of combat is simulated, but the messenger dog won't be steered off his course and reaches the patrol safely. The life-saving ammunition is ready for instant use. By employing the scout and messenger dogs to advantage, the patrol carries out a successful mission. The carrier pigeon helps us illustrate another job the messenger dog can handle. Two pigeons go into a carrier specially designed by the quartermaster corps, and the explanation is clear. The homing pigeon is naturally just that, a one-way messenger flying from field to home. As the dog is a two-way messenger, he can be used to transport the pigeons to the tactical unit operating away from the home base. The harnessing of the birds to the dog's back is very simple. By now, you've noticed the attention given to the dog's collar. It is important, for he's been trained to recognize it as his cue to run from one master to the other. Thus, the dog collar plays a major role in the successful use of the messenger dog. Incidentally, both masters have undergone careful training with the dog, and they alone handle his every operation. This demonstration proves that where pigeons are employed, the messenger dog fits in for delivery duty that frees soldiers or vehicles for other work. And the messenger dog can handle further tasks. As soon as this pigeon is released, we'll move on to still another assignment. A telephone switchboard in the combat area and the need for additional lines over various short distances. So again, the messenger dog gets the call. And now that you're actually seeing it, the whole thing appears so obvious. Yes, you just equip the dog with a harness which is designed to hold the loose end of the wire. And you've got a wire layer who'll ask no questions and show no concern over the risks involved. And here's still another case where a dog spares human life and limb the risk of crossing an area under fire. The noise of battle has no effect on the canine signal. As ever, rapid and reliable, the dog gets the line across the battlefield to his master. And you've been given an idea of the multiple jobs the messenger dog can handle. He humbly stands by as his master puts the first call over the newly connected phone line. And so, when you're talking about getting the message through, don't forget the messenger dog. He helped make this connection. Now, we join the medical corps and the search for casualties after a battle. Those who fall right in their tracks can usually be found quickly enough. But other wounded, before they lose consciousness, may have crawled to some hidden spot for safety. Some may be buried in the wreckage of a bomb. Naturally, prompt discovery of such victims is vital. The casualty dog is a life-saving answer. He's been trained to search a given area for casualties and report his discoveries to his master. Highly specialized traits identify this war dog. Excellent power of scent, endurance, uncanny sense of direction, and the keenest hearing.
casualty dog has found a stricken soldier who may easily have been passed up by a medical patrol. And post haste, he's back to where his master awaits him. The master fastens the leash to the dog's collar, signal for the dog to lead him to the casualty. His mission a success, the dog's complete happiness is expressed in his every movement. A portrait of service, obedience and devotion to the job. Within the limitations of this film, we've given you a brief insight into the new tactical employment of the war dog. The proven possibilities for his use go beyond what we have shown. Full advantage is being taken of the dog's natural attributes. He's ready to do a soldier's job. He's yours at your beck and call. Anxious to show that he's truly man's best friend.